Whether you're recording your first track or streaming to thousands, capture your best sound yet with the AT2020. So today we are going to be creating one of those Instagram style animations. And it's actually a lot simpler than you think. Now I've already got my camera set up. I brought in an empty and I parented my camera to the empty simply by doing this, control P, object key transform. And now it will move along with the empty. Very simple stuff. Now in a previous shot from this mini series, we had a zoom in into this area right there. So I also want to start with a zoom on for this shot. Uh, first, I need to take a base point. What is going to be the base point of our render? I think something like this already looks pretty cool. So I'm going to press I, this is going to be our starting position. Then on frame 24, I want to zoom in. I'm going to scale our empty down and I'm also going to rotate it on the Z and perhaps even move it on the X like this to make sure that we have this area exactly in the screen, press I. And now I'm going to copy the first frame and go to frame 48, like right over here and place it right there. And now it's zooming in and it's going back. Very good. Uh, now we need to count each time 24 and uh, let's do 72 then. Rotate it like this, press I. And now what I will do is something wholly different, uh, but I will continue this motion just so you know. So I will take this one again, copy it, and go to frame 96, and this is what we have. Zooming in, zooming out, going like that, and going like that. And now what I want to do is go right here and make a new camera. Let's see, I will simply duplicate this camera, bring it forward, now go back to frame one, control B in the timeline, and that will place our camera right there. And we're going like this, we're going like that, and it's doing its little rotation thing. Uh, we should probably play around with the graph editor for now. And it will soon make sense why I added the other camera as well, because this is going to be our close up camera and we don't have to make second animations because it's already doing it for us. So what we have to do is simply keep animating this empty until it is completely done. So let's have a look, what do we have now? We have this, whoop, whoop, whoop. So it's moving to the side. I think that's a bit slow. We'll see later. Uh, 96, 120 that is. And I'm simply going to rotate it like this. We're also going to do a top vision like so. And maybe I'll even zoom in. Let's have a look. Up, going to the side, going to the side. Chip, going to the top, going back, showing this, going back and looping. How cool is that? All right, um, yeah, pretty easy uh, stuff. Uh, but perhaps we think it is too slow. So let's set the cursor right here. Select everything as 0.5. Sure, sure, sure. I mean, for Instagram, uh, no, I, I'm going to do it differently. I find that this rotation right here, taking one second, that's too long. So I want this entire piece to be halved. So instead of 72, is 24 we're going to set it to 60 and this one's going to be right over there and this one's going to be set to 72 so now let's specify where we want our second camera to come in chup, chup. so it's moving to the side and right now when it's moving back in the middle i think 65 could be a cool place to add this camera Have a look at this. Hmm, seems a bit choppy. Seems a bit choppy. So let's set it to 60. Hmm, still seems choppy. 70. Oh, that looks kind of cool. So let's select that. Previous camera, Control B. And let's make sure to place it on frame 96. Camera 001 on this frame. And you can figure this out for yourself and what you think looks cool. All right, and it loops, bam, 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 showing some cool zoom ins. And now all we need to do is make sure that it looks good. So let's go into the graph editor. And there are a couple of things that we need to get going. I've got normalized turned on, by the way. I'm going to press on A and look at everything. Uh, yeah, so we have to take into account 
So let's set this to individual centers first. And let's scale this on the x axis. And let's have a look at the result. Whoa. Whoa. So this is now only on that motion that we need to see. So the moving motion, we're going to fix the silences in between later on. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, so it could be a little bit faster. But now there are also these areas, uh, especially in the Z rotation, I reckon, uh, where it is going to be standing still, like this one, S, Y, zero. So like both of these, uh, S and X, and make sure that it kind of looks like the other side, so like this. Whoa, 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 whoa. And that's basically it. So you need to make sure that your graph is going very fast towards the end point where it's supposed to reach. Then it takes a moment of silence where it's going to stand still. And then it's going to move out again in a faster fashion. And you can switch between different cameras during those animations. And both of these cameras are parented to the same MP. So they should make the same movement. I'm going to play around with this some more to get a better looking animation. And as you can see, it also loops, which I think looks pretty cool. And then you simply have to turn on motion blur and render it out. If you like this tutorial, click on subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Your unique sound deserves more than average. It deserves precision. Shall we do one of those light reveal intros? Sure. Introducing the Audio-Technica AT2020, the microphone trusted by over 30,000 creators, podcasters, and musicians worldwide. Made with military-grade H4 carbon. With studio quality clarity and smart sound detection, but without breaking the bank. I've heard those flashy Instagram edits work for Gen Z. Cool, throw it in. Whether you're recording your first track or streaming to thousands, capture your best sound yet with the AT2020.